Happy election day. Don't forget to get out there and vote and have a say on who leads and hopefully doesn't screw up the country for the next five years. Selena Gomez has responded to the criticism she got for 13 Reasons Why. I mean, she also got a lot of praise for the show, but there was a little bit of criticism too. Here's what she had to say about it. The content is complicated, it's dark, and it has moments that are honestly really hard to swallow. She continues, Kids today are so exposed to things that I would never even have comprehended when I was eight. My cousin teaches third grade, and they're doing things and saying things that I couldn't even fathom. I feel like if this is what we're going to talk about, we might as well do it in a way that's going to be honest. It's going to be real, and it's stays true to the book. Well, she's definitely got a point. Teenagers aren't as naive as parents may like to think. I mean, they pretty much have access to see anything they want. It's this little thing called the internet. I don't know if you've heard of it, Dad, but yeah, it's, um, it's got a lot on there. <laughs> Marnie Simpson has hit back at Stephanie Davis for saying Marnie's relationship with Lewis Bloor was a showmance. In her new Big Brother column for The Mirror, Steph was all like, if you're doing it for the wrong reason, it won't last. Loads of people have tried to copy us since. Just look at Marnie Simpson and Lewis Bloor. Have you voted yet? Vote! They were trying to copy me and Jez so badly that you could just see through it. And look what happened. Marnie has now responded saying, God, Stephanie Davis is such a delusional individual, I genuinely feel sorry for her. Oh bless, look at that, people who all lived under one roof having major arguments long after they moved out, why, it's almost like a real family. Did Liam Payne just throw shade at Zayn Malik? I don't know, it's quite confusing. Basically, as Liam was about to present James Corden with a gong at the Glamour Awards, he said, 1D never had a slogan, but if they had, Zayn might have stayed. Okay, that sounds pretty shady because obviously Liam's all like, ugh, screw Zayn for leaving. But also, a slogan? Why would a slogan have made Zayn stay? Had Zayn spent the whole time he was in 1D thinking, life would be better if only they could trot out something catchy like, 1D, better together, forever, yeah. Or maybe Zayn just had a penchant for slogan. Or maybe Liam meant the other meaning of slogan, a Scottish war cry. That's it. Zayn definitely would have stayed if they were allowed to incorporate a Scottish war cry into their songs. 100%. Fantastic Beasts number two, aka the next film from the amazing world of Harry Potter, wants you to be in it. Don't worry if you cried yourself to sleep when you didn't get your letter from Hogwarts aged 11. Guilty. There's still hope for you yet. Producers are on the hunt for two actors aged 16 to 18 to play a young Albus Dumbledore and Gallic Grindelwald, and three actors aged 13 to 16 to play young versions of characters including Newt Scamander and Letta Lestrange. If you want any tips, just slide into my DMs because I was actually in Fantastic Beasts number one. I was a witch in Harry Potter. Write that on my gravestone. In the meantime, I'm going to either convince Fantastic Beast producers that I'm definitely age 13 to 16 and can play Little Strange, or maybe just try to convince them to make a whole new role for me in the new film. Please, please, please. That's all from me, folks. Now I'm off to go and vote, which you're obviously going to do, aren't you? Go on. What are you waiting for? Hurry up. Go.